a boy, an orphan without a single toy. His name was Pete. His world was grey. Until he found a friend one day. It was no normal friend he'd found. She was but the prettiest girl in town. From that day on, the summer bore adventures every single morn. Her name was Wren, so young and gay. She even had a small piano she'd play. From sharps and flats to middle C, she taught Pete to play and read. But on one fateful evening day, when looking for some place to play, Pete and Wren stumbled through a door onto an abandoned asylum floor. Shadows, a face of white, snatched poor Wren out of sight. Pete was not like Wren at all. He was timid, scared, and small. And this was his last farewell, for Pete into a coma fell. I without okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
was him again, that Dr. Smile, singing softly a lullaby. Sleep quiet, my precious babe. Don't let your eyelids separate. Singing is against the rules. Oh, my God. 
Anyway, they went... everybody
kitties. The kitty says... I'm interest I'm introspective I now know my task introspective <laughs> Oh, my God. 
to smile, smiled a smile, a smile wider than a mile. He drooled a hungry discharge. His pupils began to enlarge. Feet, you made it to my feast. My children and I now have much to eat. A silly wren is just a doll. You're just in time for nightfall. See, you are just the appetizer. Our children will ravage Red Wind after, and when we are done, we'll look and feel innocent, just like our gold.
I'm sorry, Ren. I missed your call. I'm sorry that I wasn't there at all. Your song reminded me of when we were kids, just me and Ren. Wake up. 